Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm talking about using the Apollo Twin X with Ecamm Live. So for the longest time I've been using a Focusrite interface and I absolutely love those things, they're fantastic, but they do not have any built-in plugins. When you're in an apartment like this with an iMac with a loud fan, you really need a noise gate. I also want a compressor, limiter and things like that for recording as well as live streaming. So I wanted to check out the Apollo Twin it's a great interface because it does all the processing inside the box, which means it's not taxing your computer while you're streaming or recording. The quality is also excellent and it's used by studios all over the world. So I did get one and so far I'm really impressed. The only thing is when I plugged it in and set it up and launched Ecamm Live, I noticed my voice had a weird phasey sound to it. And also in interview mode, some guests said they had an, an echo or a delay on their voice. So I found some videos on YouTube that actually had a very similar solution to me but not quite the same, so that's why I've made this video today. So let's jump over to the console and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so this is the console, and again, this is fantastic. It's very easy to use and it makes a lot of sense. It's kind of old school, right? You've got the fader here with the level. You can see the level is nice and healthy. That's the gain up there on the yellow. So it's pretty high because the shotgun mic is right above me, but it sounds great. And then I've got the 48 volts turned on because I need that phantom power for this condenser microphone. And then I've also got the heat filter to get rid of any kind of rumbling sounds and noises like that. So that's really great. And this is the way I fixed it. I went to settings on the bottom left. And you'll get a screen like this. You've got hardware then you've got IO matrix. So it's in out matrix. Make sure you're in the in out matrix. And I've already fixed mine, but what you'll do is go to three and four and yours should say monitor left and monitor right. So I just put that back. So you'll see this number three, monitor left, simply click on it and select none and then X out. Do that for four as well. So your screen should look just like mine, three and four offline. The monitors should not be going into the inputs. I think that was creating a loopback effect that was causing my issue. I've tested it since and it seems to work great. So hopefully that's fixed the problem. If you try that and it works or doesn't work, please let me know in the comments below, but it seems to be working fine here. Now, before I go, I'll just give you a quick overview of how I'm using this because I'm really quite blown away so far. I have my level here, which is just for my in-ear headphones. This does not affect the stream. It's just simply for my monitoring. That's really nice to have. And then I've got a virtual preamp. So this basically replaces the digital preamp and gives you a more vintage sound if you want. There's many different preamps, but the one I've chosen is the API Vision CS. And this is why, check this out. You can see from the LEDs how much work it's doing. So the signal's going in. Again, I've set the gain, so it's just hitting the yellow there occasionally. And you've got a high and low pass. If you don't know what these things do, the best way to figure it out is to turn it on and just move the dials. So check this out. Testing, 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 testing. Very thin, no frequencies left. <laughs> So, so nasal. Bring it back down again, all the warmth comes back. I'll leave it around 50 again to remove any mud from the signal. So you've got that. And then the next one is the noise gate. You can see it's working pretty hard. If I don't talk, the LEDs are fully illuminated, meaning the gate is fully closed, meaning no sound is coming through. This is what it's blocking out. That's a lot of sound. Most of that is from my IMAX fan but you can also hear pops and clicks, um, people walking around outside, stuff like that. So a noise gate is really, really useful, I find. As is this compressor limiter here. What's happening is when I get too loud and too excited, it's stopping the level from going too hot. So it's stopping me from clipping digitally, which sounds really bad. So check it out. Okay, okay, okay. That just touched the red. If I didn't have that on, it would have gone well into the red and it would have sounded really bad. So a limiter is also excellent for narration and live streaming. Finally, we have the EQ, another useful tool because I find without it, my voice is a bit harsh from all the processing. So what I've done is I've just boosted the highs, cut some mids, and it makes it a bit more pleasant. You see, it warms it up quite nicely. So this plugin is fantastic. I think I'm gonna get it for my live streams and my videos. And this interface is great. It also has guitar amps and you can use effects like reverbs and things. I really love it. If you want to check one out, I'll put my affiliate link below to the interface and also Ecamm Live as well. This is a great setup now for live streaming. So I hope this was useful to you. And if you enjoyed it, please subscribe and ring the bell. Take care and be well, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.